So this is going to be one of the first challenge assignments that you get. Um, and I'm going to show you how to create a selection and put something in that selection. Um, so here's a picture I took at um, Broadway uh, at Broadway Market the other day. Uh, the first thing I would do, you should answer it. Yes, Command J. I'm going to crop this because I want to get rid of some of these cars. So I'm going to go to my crop tool and I'm going to keep the shift button down. Uh, and that will keep the, the ratio uh, the same. So again, I just want to get those cars out and I want to keep it, let's see. All right, yeah, that works. Not, uh, I get a little bit up here that I want to get rid of, but uh, the, for discussion purposes, I'll just keep mumbling at you. So what I want to do is I want to select this, uh, the water, and I want to actually put something into the water that's different than what's in the picture. So if I go down here, I have um, three selection tools really. This is a shape selection for things that are just, you know, squares, circles, lines. This one is um, a lasso. So if I were to go in here and just draw something roughly, you can see I get these marching ants and, and that would make a selection. Uh, anything in here would be selected. Command D, D selects things. Uh, the other ones that are in here are the uh, polygonal lasso and the magnetic lasso. This one's actually useful um, in that what it does is it follows a line. So as you're bringing it around something that, that uh, changes uh, sh in contrast, it will follow that line and I'm just clicking occasionally to add some anchor points. And it's also a way for the, for the uh, line not to get away from me. This one I haven't used in a while. It's, it's a good tool and sometimes you, you can use it. Um, it used to be all we had, uh, but now it's, 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 there are other things that are a little better. So I have to close that and you can see there's my selection. So if I actually went up here to my selection tool, I could actually move that around if I wanted to. Uh, Command D to deselect. Actually, I need to go back a little bit. So Command Z, Command Shift Z, or Command Option Z to keep going backwards. This is a terrible video so far, guys. I apologize. This is the one I really want to use. So I'm going to hit Command D. These are my quick selection tools. And you can see I have a magic wand, which will select similar colors, or ones, uh, the magic wand, which I can actually uh, manipulate. I'm going to click it. I'm going to make sure that I'm on a plus uh, up here in my toolbar. And as I hold the mouse button down, it's going to make the selection. I just kind of keep dragging it slowly and see sometimes it oversteps. Now I'll just go to the minus and I'm following kind of that, that line of the puddle. And it should close up pretty good here. Yeah, that's good. I like it. If I wanted to add more, I just click the plus button again and add a little bit, add a little more. So now I have my selection and I want to put something into it. Uh, I'm going to go uh, off to the side and I am going to uh, search for a uh, galaxy or something I want to put in there. Uh, so I'll pause this for just a second and we'll get back to it. All right, so I downloaded uh, a picture from the internet. Uh, this is a star trail. You want to make sure that it's a fairly decent size image. Uh, in this case, it's two megabytes at least. I am just going to, I'm not going to manipulate it at all, I'm just going to go Command A to select all, Command C to copy it, then I'm going to go back into my original file, and I'm going, you can't see it off the screen, but I'm going to go, um, f uh, let's see, File, Paste Special, or excuse me, Edit, Paste Special, and then go paste into place. Edit, paste special, paste into, and you can see once I hit my selection tool, it's staying in that selection. So now if I hit Command T, 
and hold the shift button down as I grab the corners, hit enter, I now have a galaxy in my puddle. So your challenge is to put something into something else. It could be the screen of your iPhone, it could be the reflection in your sunglasses, it could be the reflection in a puddle, it could be two pictures that you put together, but your challenge is to do that and turn it in. Good luck.